boys and girls, we are here again tonight and hoping that Stephen will come see us. Tonight we're going to talk about the truth. We're going to talk about the belt of truth. And we're going to talk about our strength and that our strength to do the right things comes from God. I'm hoping that Stephen will show up and tell us another story. I liked it when he told us something about the Old Testament. So let's see if we can get Stephen here again. We have to call him, remember? We have to call, where are we calling? Are we calling Israel? In Jerusalem? Let's see. Let's call him. I'm speaking. Yes, operator. Uh -huh. Yes. I need Stephen again. It's in Jerusalem? Yes, in Jerusalem, Israel. Okay, honey. Okay, I'll wait. She put me on hold again. I bet they know who he is now. We've called him three times. Okay, he's coming. Hey, Stephen! Miss Tina, how are you doing? This is so cool. I'll just call you up and you come. I know. I mean, this is becoming a habit at this point. Three times in a row. Oh, I'm glad you're here. I'm, I'm happy to be here, and I've got another story oh, for I you. So. This time, we're going to talk about King Nebuchadnezzar. Do you remember him? I do remember him. So King Nebuchadnezzar was a rich and powerful king way back. And there was a time when he thought, I'm so awesome. I'm going to build a huge gold statue, and I'm going to make everybody come and worship this statue. So that's what he did. He built a gold statue that was 90 feet tall and 90 feet wide, and he called all the people, anybody that was anybody was coming to this and he was going to make them all bow down. He had a band ready and the order was, whenever you hear the horns, whenever you hear the band, everybody should kneel to this statue. And whoever doesn't kneel is going to be in big trouble and may even get thrown into a fiery furnace. No, that's an awful punishment. I mean, terrible. Yes. So. First time, he's got everybody ready. He says, band, fire it up. And the horn sound and the band plays and everybody kneels down, except for a few people. And so, there were so many people, King Nebuchadnezzar didn't even see them, but he had people watching out. And these days, I think we'd call them tattletales. But back in the day, he called them friends. So. These people come, they say, King Nebuchadnezzar, there are three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that did not kneel during this whole ceremony. And he got so mad, he said, get them in here right now. Get them into my palace, and we're going to do this whole thing over again. He's, and he said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, if you don't kneel down, you're going to get thrown in this fiery furnace. And so... Instead of being scared, would you be scared? I'd be scared. I would be, I would so, be so scared. scared but Meshad, Shadrach, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were not scared. What they told the king was, our God is so powerful, it doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't matter how you threaten us, our God is more powerful and he will deliver us from your hand. And even if he doesn't, we know he's the true God, and we're not going to bow down to your golden statue. That's awesome. What courage that took. I know. But think about King Nebuchadnezzar, how this made him feel. He got even more mad, and he said, I want this fire seven times hotter than it already was. Oh. So he gets the fire hot. He gets his biggest, baddest men to tie him up, and he throws all three of them in the fiery furnace. No, the end. That's it? Not more? Just kidding. So, we couldn't just leave it there. They throw the men in the fiery furnace and they look in there and they see one, two, three, four men? I thought they only threw three in. The king said, what happened to, the, to all the men? They're in there walking around. They're not harmed. They're not getting burned up. And there's a fourth one. It looks like a, a man of God. Sure enough, God sent an angel. angel. Oh, how cool! And he protected them the whole time, and they walked right out. And so the king was obviously amazed, like everybody else. And he said, "Anybody that puts down the God of 
of those three men are going to be killed themselves. So he completely changed his mind, all because of the courage and faith that those three men showed. That is so cool. It was a really, really awesome, courageous thing. awesome. And to think that angel of the Lord stayed with them the whole time. And they weren't, they weren't afraid. You don't have to be afraid because God is more powerful. Yes, and last week we learned he was always with you. And this is another story that tells us that. Absolutely. And it tells us that they stood up for the truth. The true and one God. They knew the truth. And we've been studying about the belt of truth. And that belt of truth is just for us to have. It's not literal. It's not like this belt? No, it's not like that. Okay. It is, it is there for you to have something to remember how important it is. Because it holds up your pants figuratively. <laughs> and you don't want them to fall down. Right. So, But it, it, the real true belt helps you be Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Because God is the truth. Yeah. So that is so cool. Thank you for sharing that story. Yes, ma'am. So I think we have one more thing for you to tell us about. So we'll see you one more time. All right. I will see you next week. Bye. Right, bye.